All right, guys. So today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my Craftsman Bluetooth speaker that I got up here on my bench. Um, as you can see, I got it at about head level here. This is where I realized that it uh, has the best sound. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, unplug some of this stuff and bring it down to the bench. And uh, I'll show you a little bit more of the features up close. All right, let's get started. All right guys, so here we are. So this is my Bluetooth Craftsman shop speaker that I have. Um, as you can see, when I took it off, the first feature, when you see me take it off the shelf, there is a built-in handle right here in the back. So if you spin this around, you will see right here is your built-in handle. So it's really easy and convenient to just grab this thing and carry it wherever you want. Okay, now, the plugs that I had in it for right here, obviously I had the uh, USB, right, which I can charge my phone um, while I'm in the shop, I guess. I usually Bluetooth, you know, my music to it and then sometimes we'll plug my phone in if it needs to be charged. And then there is the uh, AC adapter that it does come with out of the box um, that you plug it into the wall. So. If you guys have ever noticed in any of my other videos, um, it is plugged into the wall. Let me see if I can show you that here real quick. We'll just point right over there and there it is. You guys have probably seen this right here. I plug my Dremel right on top of it um, that hangs from my bench and that is your AC power that it comes with. So it, you don't have to buy that separately or anything else. So you can just plug it right into power and not have to worry about it. Now, when you grab it by the handle, flip it around, you will see it does have a spot for a battery, right? So if you wanna put any of your batteries that are compatible with any of your other Craftsman stuff, right? So, I mean, I, I basically just took this battery right off this drill, right? You can take it right off, put it on the drill, take it off the drill, put it right on my radio, right? and you're set. Spin that thing back around, turn it on, and you can take it wherever you want to. I've taken it when I've, you know, working on the truck, uh, repaired fences, there's even battle scars. I think that's paint from a fence that I repainted. Um, replace some slats and paint them back up, replace, you know, fix gates, all that stuff. There's videos on some of those things. Um, at least the gate one replacing the fence slats I didn't make a video on. If you guys want me to, I'll probably have to do some more here uh, probably this next summer. Um, so if you're interested in seeing Vinny videos on that, I'll be more than happy to make those. That just to me seemed like a pretty easy task, so I didn't make a video on it. Um, but if you guys want a video on uh, repairing a fence, then by all means, leave that in the comments and I will put that on my to-do list. But anyways, about this, this was like 90 bucks. Um, I got it at Lowe's. Um, they are the authorized retailer, one of the authorized retailers for Craftsman um, since Sears stopped carrying it. Um, it's not a uh, terribly bad price, um, but I would think it's maybe a little bit overpriced, but you know, when you're a Craftsman guy like me and I wanted a Craftsman radio to go in my shop, then that's what I got. Are there better radios than this? Most definitely. Um, I didn't do much comparison. I wanted a shop radio. I liked the fact that it had the built-in handle and I liked the fact that I can put a battery on it and I can take it anywhere with me. Um, and it's compatible with the stuff that I already have. I didn't listen to the DeWalt radio or the Milwaukee or the Makita. And quite frankly, if you really are into music a whole lot, I just play shop music. Um, so nothing outrageous, um, usually oldies. You know, Beach Boys and, you know, stuff from the 60s and 70s. You know, well, Beach Boys is older than that, maybe. But that's irrelevant. Um, 
if you want something that has a little bit more clarity and tone, I mean, you can pick up just your regular JBL, you know, wireless Bluetooth speaker if you're really into music and you want something like that. I wanted something that blend into my shop that I didn't care if I got paint on, right? Or that gets a little dinged up or anything, just like even the battery has dings on it. Oh yeah, look at that. This is that battery. Huh. You guys want to hear that story? So there's a nice ding on the battery right there. I actually left that on the roof of a car. I was changing an, an alternator uh, on my Mercedes. And uh, I did film that. I just haven't edited that yet. Um, I'll try and edit that together and put that up. And then uh, when they got the car running, took it for its test drive, I had left this on the roof of the car um, on my flashlight because I was actually doing that in the dark with a buddy of mine. So this flashlight right here, my other Craftsman flashlight, or not other Craftsman, other Craftsman tool, this flashlight, except with this battery on it, put on the hood of the car when we were done working, or the roof, not the hood. And uh, I th we got a good like five blocks before we heard something. And uh, man, we had to be going at least 20, 25 miles an hour. Um, that's the speed limit on that road that was out there. Uh, when we heard that slide all the way down the back window, bounce off the trunk and hit the road, um, and made a U-turn and went and picked it back up. And you wanna know what guys? Yeah, my Craftsman flashlight still works. And the only damage was that scratch on the battery, which is probably where it hit. I don't really notice anything on this flashlight. So, oh wait, there's some scratches right there. It's just a few little scratches there on the flashlight and on the battery. So, if that's a testament to Craftsman durability and quality, there's your review for that. This ended up being a review for the radio, but uh, there's some durability built into the products too. And uh, if you guys have watched some of my other videos, you know I have quite a bit of Craftsman tools. Um, so if you're interested in seeing reviews on any of those other products, go ahead and leave that in the comments below as well. And I will make some on those as well. Um, whatever you guys like. Um, I already do have one up. I'll link it up in this video um, on my Craftsman shop vac that takes the same batteries. Um, I'll put that on the video. You guys can link to that if you guys haven't already seen it. It has thousands of views, I think. Over a thousand for sure um, at this point in time. But anyways, back to the speaker review. Okay, so you actually do in these ports that we went over earlier. So you got your USB and your AC adapter. It actually does have an old fashioned aux cord. So if you wanted to put like an old MP3 player in there, you could do that too. Um, and use that as your source. Obviously, your Bluetooth uh, link button to link it to your phone. You got your volume up and down. Play, pause, and then skip songs, right? And you can either do it from your phone or even when I have my phone Bluetooth to this, right? I'll have it up on the shelf and my phone will be in my pocket or my phone will be sitting up here charging um, with the cable. Um, I'll still just hit the buttons to change song. If I want to skip a song, turn the volume up or down, obviously you can do it from the speaker or the phone. Um, either one. You got your power button and then there's a little blue light that comes on. Actually, let me plug this battery in and I'll just show you. So you see that blue light come on, the little tones that it makes, and then you're ready to pair it to your device and start playing your music. But I actually don't have my phone with me, so you're not going to hear any audio on this. But, uh, but it does have the light on to let you know that it's on. It does make a tone when you turn it on and off and uh, I will take this battery back out and I'll put it back up on my shelf and uh, plug it back in and as I told you in the beginning of the video um, I keep it up on that shelf so it's at head level or ear level if you want to call it that um, only because I was originally just gonna put it on the bench like right here right instead of having my rag my dirty rag collection right there I was going to try and put the speaker back in there. Um, but I found the sound is better if it is more at ear level than if it's on bench level. And so I cleared off a spot on that shelf and put it up there, which worked out pretty good anyways because I just run the cables down and plug it in right there. So anyways, you guys, there's the review. 
uh, like I mentioned throughout the video, if you want to see other reviews or if you want to see other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Not highly technical. Um, oh, look at that. See that? There's rubber feet on the bottom too. I didn't even go over everything. I was trying to go too fast. Okay. But I have taken this with me uh, a couple of places. It's very nice. It's very portable. You've seen throughout the video, I've been using that handle to hold it and manipulate it. And there we go. All right. So hope you guys like this. Hope you guys got something out of it. That's what I try to do in all of my videos. Um, if you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe, whatever you want to do, or just enjoy the video and go pick yourself up a Bluetooth speaker so you can listen to your tunes while you're working in the shop. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy.